and welcome to the Rave TV. I'm Allie here with the main. Welcome back, guys. Hello. Hi. So how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Doing well. Really good. Yeah. This is your ninth show here. Ninth time. Yeah. Pretty crazy. crazy. It's very crazy. Yeah. It's very awesome. Uh, I love this place. Yeah. yeah. Good. We love having you. Well, thanks. Um, a long time ago, in one of your first shows, you uh, made a uh, haunted spoof video <laughs> with, with the Ambassador Hotel and us. Um, so have you guys actually had any ghost experiences while you've been here? Uh, Unfortunately, no. We try to force no. them every time. I, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think we should just let them happen. Like we let go, let we go in search of it. Yeah, let the ghosts yeah. come to us. I think, yeah. if, I think if you're by yourself, you can convince yourself of mostly anything. Yeah, so I do that all the time. Maybe we just need to do our own thing as opposed to going in groups. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I'm too afraid to go by myself. <laughs> 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 we actually just watched the the trailer for the new Paranormal Activity. Oh goodness, looks wild. Getting in the mood to and get And then go walk around here. <laughs> yep. yeah, yeah, there you go. Yep. Uh, so you guys have been on tour with Anne Berlin. How has that been going? It's been That's awesome. Yeah, it's been really a lot of fun. Great guys. Yeah. We got to tour with them for a couple weeks in Australia before this. So we got to kind of do the whole getting to know each other process prior. Mm -hmm. So that was cool to just jump into it over here and not really have to, you know, have to play the name game or yeah. whatever. Right. Um, but yeah, the shows have been incredible. We played last night in Chicago. It, it might have been one of the, the top shows for us ever just in the states yeah i mean yeah. It, was, it was a lot of fun so um people are showing up seem to be excited so you know we can feel that excitement and feed off of it so yeah, yeah. they were just here talking about what great guys you are and how much they like you all so we, yeah. wow we yeah. slipped in a couple <laughs> bills before yeah yeah uh so who would you guys love to go on tour with that you have not yet there's plenty of bands wow. yeah um, the replacements are playing shows again. <laughs> that would be. I mean, they're one of like, you know, one of my all-time faves. I think. I think it'd be cool to go with the Killers. Oh yeah, that, that would be. Cool. That'd, that'd be, be really awesome. awesome. Yeah, uh, there's just there's tons tons of stuff. I mean, yeah. I there's even stuff that we, we don't even think about. Yeah, yeah that would yeah. be awesome. Um, we actually get to meet up with uh, Taking Back Sunday and do shows two shows with them in North Carolina, I believe. Yeah, so yeah. our tours kind of cross paths. So yeah, we're so really looking this forward to that. Meeting up with theirs. Our packages are combining. <laughs> <laughs> We're combining <laughs> packages, and uh, I mean we've we've had the luxury of going on tour with with TBS in the past, but we're excited to see them again. That'd yeah. be another band that we'd love to tour with again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the record Forever Halloween, um, which, for lack of a better word, you made the old-fashioned way. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So how did you? Um, well, like, what was the difference in the process of making it? Oh, it was like. I mean, it was like nothing that we'd ever done before. Yeah, I, so I, I think a lot of everything was different, pretty much. Yeah, but um, going into it, though, the way that we wrote was kind of the same. You know, mm -hmm. John's kind of our um, our songwriter. So as far as the writing aspect goes, we kind of did what we always do, where he has an idea and we work it out into a song. And uh, there was just more prep going into it because we knew that every take that we did was going to be live. And, you know, there's not as I mean much room for error. That was the difference right yeah. there. Is yeah, it was just preparing we to, tracked to do live. together. Um, or at least they they tracked, and I did a lot of my vocals at the same time too. But they were all in the same room, kind of feeding off of each other, and and that was the the biggest difference is that we had to just do it together yeah. as yeah. opposed to like you know laying down drums, then bass and guitars, etc. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so like you know eighty percent of what you hear on the album is just us in a room and mm -hmm. just <laughs> yeah playing together, and and you know it gave it more of a raw human yeah. sound i feel like you know it's got a pulse was it harder to get it in one take doing that doing it that uh, way? fortunately yeah. brendan really didn't give us too much time to think about yeah, it. yeah. i think he uh we kind of yeah i think we were unaware there weren't of too many of takes of, yeah. of everything it we was were unaware that we were doing it a lot of the time yeah um yeah we'd finish a take and then kind of maybe do one or two more and he'd be like i like that first one and let's let's do that you know so it's cool another difference was that we spent a really long time getting sounds like mm -hmm. getting tones guitar tones yeah. drum sounds um so there was a lot of it seemed like downtime you know for everybody else but for that person that they were you know kind of focusing on it was it's really important and it's it a lot of playing your part yeah. yeah so it was uh it was a lot of that and then you know getting into a, a mindset getting into a vibe and then just tracking and yeah. you know trying to trying to play the best that you could and after recording a record both ways, which way would you prefer? I had the most fun this time. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, Pioneer was really fun, too, just because we <coughs> we didn't have 
a producer really we were just doing it ourselves so Mm -hmm. you know that aspect was cool but it was also really nice to have brendan benson on board and someone there kind of to tell us no because sometimes we get a little too outside the box yeah just a little outside perspective i don't know i i think i had more fun this time because you know what you play is what it ends up being i mean everything is exactly how we played it we didn't go back and you know, drop in here and edit this part or this part. So it's it's I all think pretty we're accurate. Just so fortunate to have experienced it and to have had Brendan kind of leading us along the way and teaching us the ropes and at least opening the doors so that we could look inside for the first time. You know, yeah. it was like yeah. we had never. It was kind of an unknown thing. Like we didn't ever think that that was a an option to record live and together and to tape. So. You know, to have had the experience in retrospect, it's it's really great because we can have the confidence going in and we can yeah. do it next time live if we want or, yeah. you know, we could do it the other way. So I think it's really, it's a huge step for, for us as, as a band, I think. Yeah, it's very cool that you guys did that. Thanks. Um, so let's talk about the significance of the album title because obviously Halloween is associated with the costumes and everything. Mm-hmm. So how did you come up with that? It was something that I had had floating around for a while um and it ended up just kind of really complimenting in my opinion (laughs) in my biased opinion uh it ended up complimenting kind of the whole process and the the approach that we took you know the live approach the analog approach um you know i i think for once we can honestly say that we are a band and uh, you know in a in an age i think where there are a lot of facades and a lot of, uh, I don't want to get in trouble by saying anything <laughs> specifically. I, I just think that in an age where rock and roll seems so uh, diet soda now, <laughs> uh, in my opinion, uh, I think you know we can finally say that you know we're a band and, and this is who we are and we weren't hiding behind anything and that kind of encompasses the the title and and i i think um i think we did all right (laughs) (laughs) and you guys recently released a trailer for love and drugs which looked a little little creepy um so can you tell us anything about well actually the the video's out Mm -hmm. um oh okay yeah yeah it's uh it was a concept that we had worked with daniel gomez who directed the video we had worked with him in the past for, for, yeah, for a music video for Misery, a song of ours. And um, we love, love the way he works work, because yeah. he, he's an independent dude as well. So mm-hmm. he understands what it's like to be kind of creative and, and free. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we kind of hit a, hit a snag when it came to a concept for the video. We actually tried to um, record... The f- music thing. video for or we, or we had done something previously. What we were doing. It was just this. <laughs> we didn't really have a concept. It didn't work out. <laughs> and we went with somebody that we hadn't worked with in the past. And it just didn't mesh. So didn't pan out. We, yeah. we trusted Daniel, and so we went to him, and, and he always has a vision, and he's able to kind of carry it out really well, in my opinion. Uh, you know, for, for the Misery video, going into it, I didn't really know how it was going to turn out, and I was really happy with it. So we were just kind of yeah, like. Yeah, so it's basically you know, his interpretation of what the song means yeah. uh, after talking to me and right um, and it's more theatrical than any video that we've done it's yeah. mm-hmm. it's more yeah it was you know, cinematic i guess we have you know there's a cut scene in the middle where there's actual like acting mm-hmm. and which he he was great in helping us to do that <laughs> too you know he was very um i guess just easy to work with he didn't make you feel uncomfortable yeah, when trying to do that really hard yeah, to do it's very <laughs> strange to do and foreign for us yeah until you're like Show me sad. (laughs) 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 Exactly. I can't. (laughs) So how do you guys think that your music has evolved over the years? I think it's hard to say. For us, like I said, we have a slanted view of what's going on. Because we... we Guess just naturally. (laughs) We just have evolved just because Everything that we've done, I can honestly say that we've invested everything that we've had at that moment in time. And we completely believed in what we were doing at the time. So... Looking back, there's nothing that we regret because, you know, you can't. It's just, it, you can't do it again. No, yeah. You know, it's, you it's know. what has allowed mm-hmm. us to play the rave nine times, you know. So um, we're just really fortunate to be in the position that we are, and um, people still care, and it's yeah. nice. Yeah. So, I mean, I- as far as the music is concerned, 
who's to say what it's going to be in a year from now, but you know, what we're doing right now at least is what we believe in, what we mm-hmm. really stand behind. Yeah. Uh, and after this tour with Anne Berlin finishes up, what's next for the main? We go straight from yeah. this. This right ends in Florida. Go and we go to Europe. Yeah. Oh for wow. a month. About a month. Yeah. Tw- we're there for a while. We're doing yeah. work tour over there. And then we're also doing uh, like some side some shows and whatnot. Shows. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah, we'll be over there for a while. So we got that. That'll take us through Thanksgiving. And then it's a, a bit of <laughs> home for pretty much the rest of the year. M- right? Maybe take the holidays off yeah. and then uh, go back at it in January. Is, is Warp Tour UK? Have you guys done Warp Tour over there before? We haven't. No. This, no. this will be the yeah. first time. Yeah. yeah, should be fun. So instead of shorts and ripped tank tops, you guys got to bundle up. Jackets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Cold. <laughs> for sure. Well, thank you guys for joining us before we show. You got to come back for number ten soon. Absolutely. Of course. Yeah. 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 We love Can't having wait. you guys. Thanks, Thanks. again. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you for watching the Rave TV. Be sure to check out the Maine's current record, Forever Halloween. We'll see you soon on the Rave TV.